All right, friends, yesterday we started our new week talking about how we can work together to make our lives better, okay? We looked at that picture of people picking up trash, of people fixing things, and all those types of things that um, you can do to make the world better. But we also talked about how we can work with other people to make the world better too, because we talked about picking up trash. Is there lots of trash on the ground or just a little bit? Lots. Sometimes there's lots, especially in our picture that we looked at yesterday, there was lots of trash. So if there were lots of trash in a park, would you want to pick it up all by yourself? No. No, that would take a long time. So something that you can do is you can work with other people to help them. Then we listened to this story about the cat's bell. So today we are going to listen to the story again and we're going to retell it. So I have our papers here with the pictures from our story and our sentence frames that say first, next, then last. So we're going to listen to our story one more time. We're going to take some time to put our pictures in order. And then we're going to get together with a partner and retell our story to our partner. Okay, so we are going to get started by just listening to our story again. I'm going to turn the volume up here. Remember, if we are listening, our eyes are up here, our mouths are closed, and we're watching, and we are using our best listening ears so that we can listen, and so we're not bothering our neighbors so they can listen. All right, so the cat's bell. The cat's bell, based on a fable by Aesop. How can mice work together to keep a cat away? A hungry little mouse peeked out of her hole. Her tummy rumbled. She could see a table loaded with good things to eat. The people in her house had finished dinner. Look at all the lovely leftovers, she squeaked. The other mice sniffed and sighed. They were hungry too. So much yummy food, said the little mouse's friend. And we can't have any. It's not fair. The hungry little mouse nodded. The food was there. But so was Max, the cat. He was looking at the mouse hole and swishing his tail back and forth. Her tummy rumbled again. I'm going to get supper, she said. (coughs) Don't go, squeaked her friend. You could get hurt. Okay, so we have this mouse, and he is in his mouse hole. What is he looking at, everybody? Okay, so he's looking at the cat, but what does he want? Food. He wants the food, right? So he is standing there and his tummy is growling. What is that feeling that we get if our tummy is rumbling? Well, what do we call that? That would be hungry. So the mouse is feeling hungry and he wants to go eat some of this food, but he can't because the cat is in the way, right? All right, so as we think about retelling, our first picture, we might say, First, the mouse is hungry, and we heard that the other mice are hungry too. The mouse sees a big table of food, but he can't go get any because the cat is watching him. All right, let's listen to our next one. We have to do something about the cat then, said the first little mouse. But what can we do, asked her friend. The other mice were listening to them. We need to find a dog to chase Max away, one said. That's silly, said another. Where are we going to find a dog? Besides, what if the dog chases us too? We can't risk that. Let's just wait until he goes outside, said a timid mouse. But he could sneak back in, said an older mouse. That's the trouble. We never know when he's coming. Soon the mice were in the middle of a big conflict. One mouse after another shouted out ideas about what to do. Each mouse tried to shout louder than the others. The first little mouse couldn't stand the noise, 
she put her paws over her ears. Okay, so the mice, they agreed that they need to take care of the cats, right? They want to get rid of the cat. So, um, one of the mice came up with an idea. So raise your hand if you can tell me, what was the first mouse's idea, Uwen? Uh, the first mouse's idea is to find a dog to take a cat. Yeah, so they said, let's find a dog, all right? But was that a good idea? No. Not really, because they said, well, where are we going to get a dog? And what if the dog tries to chase us, too? So they decided not to find a dog. Venus, what did they do next? Okay, so they wanted to take care of the cat, so they were going to do that by finding a dog. Or what was the other one that they said after that? Or, all right, so we're going to raise our hand. Yes, little box? Yeah, so then they said, well, we could just wait for the cat to go outside. But then that wasn't good either because the cat sometimes snuck back into the house and they wouldn't know that it was, it was there. Okay, so their ideas, they didn't like them. They weren't really working. Um, but, um, so all of the mice started to shout. Do you know what shouting is? Is yeah. shouting talking loud or quiet? Yeah. Shouting is talking loud. So they were all shouting. And show me what the little mouse did when they were all shouting. What did she do? Just show me. Show me. Good, I see you. She covered her ears. It was too loud. Okay, so if we're thinking about retelling our story, first, the mouse was really hungry and was looking at a big table of food, but she could not get the food because the cat was watching. Next, they had an idea to find a dog to help them get rid of the cat, but they didn't know where they would get a dog. Another idea was to wait until the cat went outside, but they were afraid the cat might sneak back in. So all of the mice started coming up with ideas and they were yelling, they were shouting. So the little mouse covered her ear. All right, let's see what comes next. Then the little mouse had an idea. Noise, that's the solution, she shouted, taking her paws from her ears. Max sneaks up on us because he's so quiet. If we hear him coming, we can run away safely. The other mice nodded. What we need to do, said the first mouse, is put a bell on the cat. All the mice jumped up and down in excitement. They twirled their tails and clapped their paws. What a wonderful idea. Then a wise old mouse spoke up. Yes, he said. It's a good idea. But let me ask you this. Who will bell the cat? The mice stopped clapping. They looked at each other. Who would take such a risk and put a bell on the cat? Not me, said one, and another, and another. You do it. No, you. They pushed and shouted at each other. None of the mice wanted to get close to the cat. Another argument was starting. Okay, so next, they came up with an idea. Raise your hand if you can tell us what was that idea. Should be close that idea. Put a bell on the cat. Yeah, they're gonna put a bell on the cat. How did the mice feel about that? Were they happy or sad? Happy. They were happy. They were clapping. They were so excited. But then they realized something. They said, "Who is going to put the bell on the cat?" Did any of them want to put the bell on the cat? No. no they were afraid. All right, so if we're retelling our story, we can start at the beginning. First, the little mouse was hungry and she was staring at a big table of food, but she could not get the food because the cat was watching her. <coughs> Next, the mice decided to get rid of the cat. They thought of some ideas. They wanted to get a dog to help get rid of the cat, but they didn't know where to find a dog, and they were scared that the dog would chase them too. Then they wanted to wait until the cat went outside, but they um, did not know when the cat was going to come back in. Then they all started having ideas and they were all shouting, okay? Then one mouse had an idea to 
put a bell on the cat. They said the reason that the cat gets us is because we can't hear it. So they had an idea to put a bell on the cat. But when they wanted to get the bell on the cat, they said, who will do this? And everyone said, not me, not me. They were scared. Hmm. Let's see what they do in the end. Stop, cried the little mouse. There's no need to quarrel. We must all work together. The mice got quiet and shifted their feet. I know where there's a bell, said the timid mouse. It's in the children's room. When Max goes outside, I'll get the bell, offered a strong mouse. I can find a ribbon, said the little <laughs> mouse's friend. We'll string the bell on the ribbon, said three young mice. And we'll put it where the people will find it with a note that says, For Max, said two grown-up mice. Early the next morning, all the mice were watching when the people came into the kitchen for breakfast. Oh, look at the pretty ribbon with a bell, said the woman, and it's for Max. She quickly tied it on Max. He looked very silly as he ran to hide, the bell jingling with every step. All the little mice were thrilled. They couldn't wait for the people to finish breakfast so the mice could have theirs. Okay, so in our last box, they came up with a plan. All right, some... Um, Mice said, I know where we can find a bell. And others got the ribbon, and um, the others wrote a note to the owner. So they left the bell on the table, and it said, for Max. It was for the cat. And did the owners like it? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. They said, oh, this is so cute. So they put it on the cat. And now what happens when the cat walks? It yeah, it rings. It goes ring, 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 ring. So then the mice, they can hear when the cat is coming. All right, so did the mice have to work together for that plan? Yes. Yes, okay, so you can see that one went and got the bell, one went and got the ribbon, one wrote the note. All right, so if it were just one mouse, do you think they could have gotten rid of the cat? No. Maybe not, but working together, were they able to get rid of the cat? Yes. Well, yes, they at least put a bell on the cat so they could hear it, okay? So before we get started with our cutting and gluing of our of the picture so we can do our retail, I'm going to show you, I'm going to model what your retail might look with your partner, okay? So if I were sitting on the carpet knee to knee with my partner, I would say, I'd use our sentence frames, I would say, first, a little mouse was very hungry. She was looking at the food of table, or the, the table of food, but she could not have any because there was a cat watching. Next, they had an idea to get rid of the cat. They thought maybe we could get a dog, but they didn't know where they were going to get the dog, and they were afraid the dog might chase them. They had another idea to wait until the cat went outside, but they didn't know when the cat was coming back. Soon, everyone was shouting ideas, and it was too loud, so the little mouse covered her ears. Then, the little mouse had an idea. She said, stop. What do we need to put on the cat? We need to have the cat make noise. So she said, we need to put a bell on the cat. Everyone was very excited, but when they asked who will put the bell on the cat, everyone said, not me. No, thank you. All right. Um, finally, or we have last, last, the mice came up with a plan. One was going to get the bell, one was going to get the ribbon, and another was going to write a note. So together, they left a note for the owners with the bell that said, for Max. And from then on, the cat had a bell. So every time he walked, the mice could hear it. So the mice got to eat their breakfast because they could hear when the cat was coming. Okay, so you see, all I did first, next, then last. Okay, so all you have to do when we do our retail with our partners is talk about each thing that you see in the picture. That's why we have our papers here um, that we are going to cut and we're going to glue in order so that when we are retelling, we can have a picture in our brain to help tell what happened in the story, okay? So, 
We are going to get started. I'm going to pass out, or Tim's going to pass out the picture, and Mark's going to pass out our square. All right. Once you get your paper, um, you may get to our pencil box. And then, once we start finishing up, we will get some partners and start our retelling, okay? So once you have your paper, grab your pencil box. <laughs>